Welcome to this week's Jackson County Board of Commissioners meeting. Your Board of Commissioners, overseeing these dedicated county departments. And now, your county commissioners, working together for the citizens of Jackson County. Good morning and welcome to the uh, Board of Commissioners regular meeting here on this Wednesday morning at 9.30 a.m. on the 8th day of February uh, here at the County Courthouse. Um, let's begin our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance and I'm going to ask our County Administrator, Mr. Danny Jordan, to lead us in that, if you would, please. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of, of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Danny. Before we start our meeting this morning, I uh, here want to acknowledge uh, uh, our, our rock star to my left here, Commissioner John Rasher, and, and congratulate him once again, seriously, for, uh, for his good work. And I know that he was just part of a team, of that team, but... Uh, well, thank you for that. And that team at Search and Rescue can always use more volunteers out there. So Good plug. If anybody wants to help in that effort. Just you don't have to be a, a helicopter pilot to you volunteer? You don't have to be a helicopter pilot. You know, just head on out to Station 7 in White City. So where's, where is Station 7? Oh, that's on Antelope Road where the Marine, uh, the Marine deputies are, Search and Rescue headquarters. So if someone was looking, that's the reason I'm asking. Yep. It wouldn't have to send out a search team to find the oh, location. Drive right in there and talk to Sandy. Yeah. Talk to Sandy. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Chair, I would like to add. I have it on good authority that uh, uh, our our good good pilot was not feeling all that chipper no. either, and uh, and so I, I he's to be commended for his outstanding efforts and commitment to community, and and uh, he's he's. This is not the first time he's done a number of sightings. He's just an unbelievable eagle eye, and I, I think he's very nervous about us talking about him like this. But anyway, thank you. Uh, it's, it's our anyway, honor and pleasure to is. work with a guy like this. Yeah. Abs absolutely. If I get lost, it's going to be here in Jackson County. Okay, let's move on and uh, get started with the regular meeting here. Uh, the first uh, item on the agenda is request and discussion of non-agenda items. Uh, is there anyone here who wants to speak to a non-agenda item? Hearing none, uh, we'll move on to the next item on the agenda, 20.00 consent calendar, consisting of, of 20.01 uh, minutes of meetings, Board of Commissioners work session, January 31, 2012, uh, Board of Commissioners staff meeting, January 26, 2012, and the joint meeting of the Medford City Council and the Board of Commissioners on January 23rd, 2012. Um, commissioners? Mr. Chair, move approval of the consent calendar as presented in red. I will second that. Thank you. Roll call, please. Commissioner Smith? Yes. Commissioner Rashford? Yes. Commissioner yes, thank you. The next item on the agenda is 30.00 public hearings. And there are no public hearings scheduled for today, so we'll move right on to our next item, 40.00, discussion and, deli and deliberation. 40.01 is an, an order authorizing change order number two with the Droid Construction Company, Incorporated, order number 25-12. Uh, Danny, please. Yes, Mr. Chair, on August 10th of 2011, Jackson County Board Order 176-11 did award a construction contract to Adroid Construction Incorporated. This was for the construction of the new rental car facility Fuel Island Improvements Project at the Rogue Valley International Medford Airport. Uh, additional work has been specified by the City of Medford, and in this case, it's uh, additional work required for a retainage pond for drainage and also additional work for architectural design modifications. Um, those both have resulted in extra work and the associated costs. Uh, with the cost of the change order, in this case change order number two, the total amount of all change orders will exceed 25% of the original contract amount. Mr. Chair, generally uh, when the board ap approves a contract and management of that contract, we, you, the board delegates authority for up to 25%. So in this case, it would exceed that 25% is the reason why it's coming to you today. 
And it does thereby necessitate appro uh, approval by the Board of Commissioners. Change order number two, it does include a curb realignment and fuel dispenser changes. This is to better accommodate uh, fueling vehicles, more specifically our larger vehicles that weren't accommodated by the previous design. Uh, in addition to authorizing change order number two, the attached order authorizes any and all future, future change orders, amendments, addendums, contracts, agreements, or terminations of agreements of any kind related to this matter. To be more specific, Mr. Chair, this allows me to execute the contracts required for the change order. It also would thereby not require, while we don't anticipate further change orders, any, certainly anything big like these, um, we don't want to have to come back to the board if we exceed that 25% by $1. And so this would give me authority to execute those agreements. Uh, uh, unless they were lo much larger. For well, this technically would give me uh, authority to do that. However, if they were much larger, I certainly would bring it back to the board. Okay. We're, we're just, okay. Yeah. Um, the authorization, as I just w was saying, will reduce the amount of paperwork uh, and staff time to complete future changes. Um, change order number two, in this case, is the amount of $52,455. Uh, in this case, our customer facility charges um, will provide the funding to fund the cost of this change order, so it's not a cost to the general fund. It's coming directly from the airport fund. The contract completion date for all aspects of this project is extended to May 1st, 2012 to uh, allow for the uh, construction changes to be made. It is an expense of $52,455. It is budgeted in the airport budget, as I said, from customer facility charges, and I do recommend your approval. Okay, thank you. Commissioners? Uh, I just have a question. Do we know, do we remember what the original contract price was? Do you, do you know that by chance? Uh, I don't remember it off the top of my head. I have the addendum to the contract here. I could look through it. No, I was just curious. It, it must have been, well, it had to be less than 200,000. 200, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Mr. Chair, with that said, I, I move approval of the order 25-12. I will second that. Thank you. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 Uh, moving on to 40.02, an order authorizing Jackson County contract for services with Carrier Commercial Services. Board order number uh, 25, 26-12. Pardon me. Thank you. Danny. Yeah, Mr. Chair, in this case, uh, the Jackson County contract for services engages career, uh, carrier commercial services. This is to maintain chiller units to provide cool air to the Jackson County Jail and the Justice Building, uh, which is where the circuit courts are housed in Jackson County here in Medford. Maintaining the chillers in the facilities help to reduce maintenance costs, provide a more uh, sus suitable and sustainable ambient temperature in the facilities for the personnel and public that utilize the facilities. Contract amount is a not to exceed amount in the maximum sum of 8174 annually. The term of the contract is February 1st of 2012 through December 31st of 2014. It does require ratification to become effective February 1st of 2012 and uh, it is an annual expense $8,174 and I do recommend your approval. Thank you. Commissioners? Come on. Uh, Mr. Chair, I move we approve order number 26-12. Second the motion. Thank you. Roll call. Yes. 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 M Mr. Chair, may I go back just to clarify Commissioner uh, Rasher's question previously on the previous item? Let us, let us finish this motion and then you can do that, please. Uh, go ahead. Roll call, please. Oh, you did. did okay. It. Okay. Move. Um, pardon me. All right. Thank you. Da, 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 da. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Chair, in this case, the 52,000 isn't the total of 25%. It's the amount that exceeds the 25%. So there was a previous expenditure up to, the, you know, up to close to that amount of 25%. So the total uh, contract amount um, in the project, $454,875. With this 52,000, it brings the total uh, change orders to $141,354, which I had approval up to 25%. Right, okay, That's above the original 400 and some thousand dollars. Yes, sir. Okay, all right, thank you. 
Okay, uh, moving on to 40.03, an order authorizing grant number 11-109, Citizen Corps Program, CAFTA CFDA uh, number 97.053 with the State of Oregon, the Oregon Military Department, Office of Emergency Management, Order 27-12. Danny. Right, Mr. Chair, Jackson County in this case has applied for and has been awarded this grant from the Citizen Corps Program with the State of Oregon. Over the past few years, uh, Mike Curry, who's here today, is our emergency uh, manager, uh, Jack, has facilitated for Jackson County uh, and received numerous um, Citizen Corps grants, which have been used to benefit the formation and support of community emergency response teams, commonly referred to as CERT, and uh, the Medical Reserve Corps, which I think the board will recall that was something that was put in place when we had the H1N1 uh, scare, and we had doctors and nurses that basically had volunteered their time to organize around a community response. Uh, the grant, in this case, be used to continue these services, does provide the opportunity for us to uh, add additional CERT teams. This is a reimbursement grant totaling 15000 Term of the grant is upon execution through December 31st of 2013. It is a revenue to the county of $15,000, and I do recommend your approval. Okay, thank you. Gentlemen? A good program. Very good program. Okay. Looking for a motion, please. Mr. Chair, I move approval of uh, board order number 27-12. I will second that. Thank you. Roll call. Yes. 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 Thank you. Uh, moving on, 40.04, .04, an, an order authorizing grant number 11-252, State Homeland Security Grant Program, CFDA CAFTA number 97.073 with the State of Oregon, Oregon Military Department Office of Emergency Management, order number 28-12. George, Danny. Yes, Mr. Chair, in this case, uh, it's been since 2002 that Jackson County has applied for and been awarded this grant. Uh, this is for communication upgrades. And it comes from the State Homeland Security Grant Program with the State of Oregon, as you said. The grant will continue to enable Jackson County and Jackson County Sheriff's Office, Jackson County Roads Department, and also Rogue Valley Fire Chiefs to replace radios and upgrade computers on Jackson County communications vans. Um, this is a reimbursement grant totaling $87,576. These were all of the agencies that made applications, so we're in this, in this round able to fund the ones, these ones that made application. Term of the grant is upon execution through December 31st of 2012. It is a revenue of $87,576, and I do recommend your approval. Okay, thank you. Commissioners? Have no discussion. None? Okay. Mr. Chair, I move we approve order number 28-12. I second the motion. Roll call, please. Commissioner Yes. Yes. Commissioner Yes. Thank you. Uh, moving on, uh, 40.05, an order authorizing owner's acceptance of bidder's offer and construction contract number 254 with Knife River Materials, order 29-12. Danny. Yeah, Mr. Chair, in this case, Jackson County Roads and Parks Department has identified Kirtland Road at Avenue G to be improved and realigned as part of a continuing road maintenance activities. This project includes grading, paving, fire line relocation, box culvert, and wetland mitigation. We did have advertisements for competitive bids. They were published in the December 30th, 2011 and January 1st, 2012 editions of the Medford Mail Tribune and the December 30th, 2011 edition of the Daily Journal of Commerce. Notices were also placed on BidNet, uh, which is an automated uh, bidding site, and the Jackson County website. Contract documents were sent to 22 contractors. <laughs> we did have seven bids, which we received. Uh, these are the results. Knife River Materials bid $1,083,204. Leduc Construction LLC bid $1,092,023. Foley Roads Incorporated bid $1,146,506. Ledford Construction Company bid $1,153,164. Cogap Enterprises Incorporated bid $1,162,623. Moore Excavation Incorporated bid $1,191,808. 
JAL Construction Incorporated bid $1,313,989. In this case, uh, there was a very thin spread between the bids. Our engineer's estimate actually was $1,305,043, so the bids came, all came in well, well, except for one, came in well under the engineer's bid. In this case, uh, Knife Rivers Materials did submit the lowest bid, uh, $1,083,204. Therefore, they should be awarded the contract. The Roads and Park Department uh, recommends awarding the contract to the low bidder, Knife River Materials. The term of the contract is upon full execution through October 31st of 2012. It is an expense of $1,083,204. It is budgeted in the road fund, dedicated funding for the purpose of uh, serving our county roads, and I do recommend your approval. Thank you. Gentlemen? Well, I just have to say I'm, I'm impressed these bids are so close together. Those top two are, what, $9,000 apart, so everybody's really sharpening their pencil these days. Really? Okay. Mr. Chair, I move approval of uh, order number 29-12. I will second that. Roll call. Yes. 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 Thank you. Final item on our agenda this morning is 40.06, an order authorizing a county slash state corporation collection service agreement with the Department of Revenue contract number 2809 with the state of Oregon Department of Revenue, order number 30-12. Danny, please. Yeah, Mr. Chair, in this case, uh, we uh, have people that are lodged in the Jackson County Jail which receive services while in jail. They acquire debts. Um, those debts may include things such as lodging fees or restitution, um, among many other possibilities. And this all occurs, of course, while they're incarcerated. Uh, oftentimes, those expenses remain on their account as uh, payable to Jackson County after they've been released from custody. And in many cases, they don't take action to pay those bills or those debts. The Oregon Department of Revenue has the authority and the means to collect unpaid inmate balances on the county's behalf. In this case, we want to enter into a contract with the Department of Revenue to do such. The annual revenue is estimated to be $6,000 per year. Term of the contract is December 1st, 2011 through November 30th of 2015. It does require ratification to become effective December 1st of 2011. It is a revenue net of estimated to be $6,000. Department of Revenue does charge a fee which is uh, collected as part of the collection they do for the total account. So uh, they do it on net collections after any adjustments that are made and the total fee is 16% of the amount collected net and so our revenue is net of that and I do recommend your approval. Thank you. Gentlemen? Well, I just have a question. Uh, they will collect these probably because Department of Revenue from taxes if the inmate goes to work. Is that how they normally do that? Or they file a lien on property that he owns? Yeah. All, all of the above. Okay. They use multiple yeah. means to do collections so they can they potentially lien, they can garnish, they can collect from tax returns, they, you know, they can uh, set up a payment plan with people that owe money. I mean, there's yeah. lots of means by which they collect. Good. Um, Danny, uh, you mentioned a couple instances where how how one might incur expenses while staying at the uh, as a, a guest at the Jackson or the Jackson County Jail. Can you give a couple other examples for the folks who may be watching uh, that aren't familiar? How how maybe wondering how in the heck would you incur an expense while you're locked up? Well, uh, just to kind of expand a little bit on the first two that I gave, uh, you know, restitution. So uh, oftentimes people come to the jail and they may be angry or emotionally distressed and cause damage to county property. Um, you know, they may write on walls, they may carve initials into bed, bed posts and all those kinds of things. Of course, those cost the county money and those are things that are billable to the inmates' damages. Um, sometimes there's special medical circumstances while the county's responsible for um, basic medical needs or maybe needs that the offender has for being seen so we may charge a fee for um, processing their request or for serving some medical need that's over and above a basic need um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you're not going to catch on. I'm just thinking that folks out there might be wondering what the heck. I mean, you know, uh, but anyway, 
Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. With that, uh, any other questions, no, uh, Mr. Smith? No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chair, move approval of order number 30-12. I will second that. Thank you. Roll call, please. Mr. Smith? Yes. 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 Well, all of those uh, board orders have been approved. And so with that, that's the last item on our agenda for the 8th of uh, February. Thank you for watching and attending. And uh, with that, I close uh, today's meeting. You've been watching the weekly Jackson County Board of Commissioners meeting held every Wednesday morning at 930. If you have any questions or comments, you can contact the commissioners at 774-6116. You can also visit www.jacksoncounty.org and click on Video and TV Center.